guys, the agenda for today is to get this Phoenix Jace pulled into our system. We've got everything set up. Uh, Phoenix has been here. They've got everything ready to go, and we're going to be plugging the network cable in, and we're going to be pulling the device in to this Johnson Controls network engine. Now, I know for some of you Tritium guys out there, you're wanting to know why we're doing this. Our system is dominated pretty much by JCI. Uh, we do have a lot of flexibility. We do have a lot of JCs on our system. So just for the way that we use our system, that's what we're going to be doing. Now, of course, this is a uh, for a uh, lab environment for some exhaust and you know all of the lab controls for Phoenix systems. First thing that I've got to do is I've got to move this network cable over. We're doing this because of the way the ports are currently configured for our network. Uh, and we're still going to have remote support for this Jace for a while. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm simply move the network cables over, plug our new cable in, and look over the mess in this panel, guys. It's still got to be straightened up. But that's our first step in this process. The network cables are in. We have communication. So everything else is going to be software related. So let's jump into that. We're actually going to be doing this a couple of different ways. The first way that I'm going to show you here is by uh, logging directly into the engine. And well, the first thing that I need to do is set up an integration for BACnet IP, which go over to my channel. You can see other videos on how to do that. And now what I'm doing is I am doing a device discovery. This is going to go out and discover everything that is connected to our network that is BACnet IP. Of course, everything is behind a firewall in our system. We do have some pretty tight stuff, uh, but we are now just scanning. It's going to take a few minutes for all of this to get through, but basically what we're going to do, we know what the IP address is for the device. We know what its instance ID as well as the name for that device is. So we're going to let this continually run until we get everything populated and then we can simply select that from the list and add that piece of equipment to our system. Now the reason that I'm showing you this as far as two different ways is simply because there are folks out there that still use some of the older versions of Metasys that have not upgraded to MUI yet. I would highly recommend that you do so. Also there's still a lot of network engines out there that are um, uh, still using, a, uh, you know, the older network engines that are still using SMP. Uh, newer engines now have MUI on board, so you can literally browse to them uh, directly from any web browser. So this, once it goes through and does its discovery, uh, we will find the device, and then we will simply be able to pull it into the system. Uh, this system was set up, uh, and it's just a quick shout-out to the guys up there, the Air Equipment out of Louisville. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky, that is, for those of you guys who are curious. They do a real good job on this, uh, getting the system set up. And we basically upgraded from an old pneumatic system that was in this building to the new DDC controls. Of course, with the Jace being at the head end of that system. And then we're going to be pulling the devices in from that Jace into Metasys. Now one thing you can do using this list just to help you filter down, you can organize these by clicking along these uh, rows, these names up top, and it will actually sort the name of your equipment. You can either sort it by your IP address, your MAC ID or whatever. And once we found our device, you can see that I have it highlighted and we're going to pull it in. We're going to name it. We're going to, you know, name it something within our system that is easily recognizable. Uh, make sure that you take the time to organize your system. Keep your database clean. Make sure that it is done right. Your system will function much better overall if you keep the database clean, keep the system running the way that it should be. Uh, you can see here I'm just going through giving it a name in the configuration screen just like what we had again using the way that we do things and then I'm going to simply hit finish now it's going to give me this option here setting up trends totalizations alarms I'm not going to do any of that so I'm going to hit next and this is where you're going to get the option to discover fill points but something that you need to remember <clears throat> is you need to take time to build folders in there and to organize your system better than uh, simply just pulling everything in all at once. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go up to insert and select folder. I've got 
the location highlighted already. You can see it here. It just highlights it for me there as well. And I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to name this folder based upon the lab that all the equipment and the points that I pull in are going to be serving. Keep your system organized. I cannot emphasize that enough. It makes things much easier for you going forward. This is just a review screen. And now I'm going to hit finish and you're going to see momentarily it's going to populate that folder and here it is okay inside this folder is where I'm going to put all of the points related to this room you can break it up in different ways you could go as far as putting folders underneath folders where you are actually uh, you know putting lab equipment putting specific valves or whatever inside there and what I'm doing now is I'm simply going to do a discovery again for the points this is all of the points that is in that JACE okay I'm just gonna hit a refresh just to make sure that it goes out and gets everything uh, you know because the system uh, there's work currently still going on with it so there are per periodically changes so I just want to make sure that I capture everything before I start grabbing them to pull them in you can see the points list here and it's just everything that's in that JACE but as I would mentioned you know you can use subfolders and things like that I could put the hoods in that room underneath one folder and so on but basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a room at a time and pull everything for a particular room into this folder one of these folders and again I'm showing you this in SMP and then momentarily we're going to look at how it looks in MUI I think MUI actually has a little bit better features and I'll show you why when we get there you can see here uh, I'm going through each of these folders and anything any of these points that are related to that particular room number basically what I've got to do is I've got to filter through all of these folders and then I've got to double click each of the points that are related to that room number uh, this can take a little bit of time doing it this way and uh, you know in, in a moment I'm going to show you why that I do believe that it is easier in MUI because you do have a couple of other features in Metasys MUI that make it easier for you. You can see here I'm simply grabbing these just double clicking checking each of the points for this particular room and I'm just so on just clicking all the way down through here anything related and if you do make a mistake and yes mistakes can happen uh, you know you can just go back in uh, delete a point out if you added one for a different room or whatever and then pull it into the correct folder again guys I cannot emphasize it enough keep your systems organized you will be much happier with your overall system uh, it will perform better uh, you know the end users are going to be much happier with you uh, and uh, you know you might be able to stand a better chance of getting that next job if the first job that you do is done right that's just all there is to it but you can see here guys we're just going to continue this we're going to get all of these points pulled in and checked into this one folder and uh, then we're going to move on now we have all of the points in for this room and I'm simply going to hit finish and it's going to populate all of those points into this folder and you can see here when I double click it this is all of the points that are in this particular room you know it's all those control points and this is how you would do that in SMP uh, next we are going to be moving into how we would do it directly within MUI now in MUI we're going to move over to our network engine we are then going to drill down to the device we see our first folder here our first room folder we're going to give ourselves just a little bit more room here. So what I need to do is to add additional folders for each of these rooms. Okay, so you can see that first folder there. So I'm going to continue to add folders. So I go up and hit the plus sign and I'm going to add a folder, you know, inserting an object and it's going to give me the option for folder. And again, I'm going to continue by naming these for the particular lab number you know keeping that lab number organized so I know when I'm looking at the system I know exactly which device that I'm looking at this is a review screen configuration screen where you can set up some additional information if necessary here is the folder now that we have that folder you can see there's nothing in it but it's the same process I hit that plus sign it will bring up my discovery screen and I'm going to select field point 
Okay, I'm going to let it discover and I'm going to hit that discover button and it's going to again go out and pull all of those points to where I can add them. Now what you have here is the ability to sort and this is where it is much handier when we are talking about doing it in MUI. Okay, because of the naming, the way that these are named, I'm simply going to sort them by name and then that way it's going to group all of the room numbers for us. You can see here the ones, the points that are checked are already points that are pulled into the system. So what I need to do is simply scroll on down to where I get to where there are uh, points that are not checked. And of course that is the next room in our list. And then I simply just continue checking all the way down. You know, just go back, double check every now and then, make sure you don't miss one. Simply scroll down and each of these points that are related to that room, I'm simply just going to go through there and check them. Very easy that way to get those pulled into your system. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I say using MUI to be able to do this is a little bit better because you cannot sort them in SMP the way that you can here in MUI. Uh, so that does make it a little bit easier. And there again, the newer network engines, they have MUI on board on them. So you do get this same feature there. So that is something that can be very useful. So what you'll do is you will just continue going through here, adding the folders, pulling in the points. And then once you get the points pulled into the system, uh, there's going to be a deep dive that is uh, setting up all of the equipment definitions. Now that's something that I'm not going to be covering in this video. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks and tips, but that's going to be in a, another video. So be sure to stick around and we will look at that. Okay. So, you know, well, that's I'm not going to do that here. That's going to be a completely separate video because there's a lot of things I want to cover in it. But guys, I hope that this is useful to you. I hope that this information helps you in setting up your system. I would appreciate it if you would like and share the video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment with any questions down below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And again, guys, keep your systems organized. I appreciate it. If you would uh, check out all of the affiliate links down below, help support the channel any way you can. Uh, and uh, you know, most importantly, by sharing the videos. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. And we will see you next time.